Splash and the Soldier of the Game spit a fat trail a lot back up in VA. Ain't nothing too major. Ain't nothing too crazy. Just his past catching up with him. Little old probation. Little old DUI back in 2015. Ain't nothing to somebody from D.C. You know, I was there in the DMV area. You know how they carry you. They'll bury you coming from the DMV. So, yeah, he'll bounce right back out. He'll get a bond. Whatever little sentence he got to do with that or whatever little situation. They might want some little money. They might, I don't know how that's going to go, but nah, he ain't going to go back to prison on that. That dog. He'll get a little bond. He'll get right back out. It's back to the studio. Back to making music. We need that good DMV sound back. We need that good Fat Trail sound back. We need them on tracks with Chief Keef again. We need them on tracks with Rick Ross again. You know what I'm saying? That DMV flow mixed with Miami. The DMV flow mixed with Drill and Chicago. Yeah, so we need that solo project for Fat Trail. The fans been waiting for a long time. They've been patient. Yeah, they've been patient with your fat. So we can't be going back to jail, in and out of jail. I know that's your past, so this one right here don't count. Yeah, this one right here don't count. So, yeah, we need you back out on these streets. We need you to fill them hard drives up again. Yeah, they got to get filled with producers like Metro Boomin, Zaytoven, that DMV sound, that Chicago sound. You know, your voice fit all different type of tracks. So, yeah, we need you out here. Yeah, we need you not really involving yourself with the streets again. You done proved yourself. You won, that. You won. So, you don't need to prove that you're still tough. We know that. So, we don't need you to prove that you can bust your gun. We know that. We don't need you to prove that you can fight. We know that. We don't need you to prove that you can go to prison. We know that. We don't need you to prove that you're loyal. We know that. So now we need you to prove that you can come out with a number one hit record. We need you to prove that you can stay on the streets. We need you to prove that you can stay out of the court system. Yeah, that's what we need to prove. We need you to prove that you can be the biggest artist on Rick Ross' label. If you still sign with him, I don't know your situation currently with that. But yeah, we need to see you can get them M's. We need you to prove that you can get the millions of dollars. Yeah, we need you to prove that Bank of America, Chase Bank, and all these different bank accounts going to respect you and going to put some respect on your name because your network too big. We need you to prove that you can do movies, that you can act and all that though. So it's a lot of different other things you need to prove. You already did all the street stuff, all the gangster stuff. You already did that though. So now it's time to invest. Now it's time to change your circle mindset. Yeah, you ain't got to keep them to the curve. Just change their mindset because you the leader. If they don't want to change, let them stay in D.C. And when we need them for D.C. activity, then we'll call them. But if they don't want to change, they can't hang. They can't hang with the gang. They can't hang with the slutty boys. Nah, if they don't want to change, let them stay in D.C. Because, yeah, you got a lot of different meetings, a lot of different buildings you got to walk through. Yeah, you got a lot of new people you got to meet. And if they don't want to put the suits on when needed, if they don't want to change their act up when needed, they got to stay in D.C. Because now it's too much money out here. And it ain't in prison. It's on the streets. It's on the internet. It's in transportation. It's in vending machines. It's on car rental sites. It's on a lot of different things. It's in NFTs. It's in crypto. Yeah, a lot of different stocks. That's what it's in. Not in that prison system. You already did a lot of stock in there. Yeah, you already got a lot of stock in there. It's at a billion dollars. Yeah, so you don't need it no more. You ready to cash that out? You need to go ahead and cash that out. And you done retire that. You go ahead and sell that stock. That stock finna crash. And your lane for your brand, that stock finna crash. So you don't need that there no more. We need you on the streets. Yeah, it's too much money to get, man. You got too many people that's counting on you. You got too many bosses that will put a check behind you. You got too many labels that'll give you a new check. Because they know you can make the records. So you just got to stay on the streets. You got the look. You got the street cred. You got the talent. Yeah, all them DMV guys. Yeah, they can be up under you. You're supposed to be giving them deals. You their way out. You wanted their way out. You'll exit out of D.C. You'll exit out of DMV area. Yeah, you one of their only ways out if you want to be a rapper. Unless another label from another city going to pick them up. And they ain't going to do that there because a lot of these guys from D.C., a lot of these guys from Baltimore and Virginia and all that there, they high risk. Yeah, they high risk to sign. They might crash out. So they got to be somebody like you. They know them. They really know these dudes. They give them a chance. It gotta be somebody like you because Def Jam ain't gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Who's gonna do it? Interscope ain't gonna do it. Yeah, Sony ain't gonna do it. Cash Money ain't gonna do it. Nah, you gotta do it. But you gotta stay on the streets. And you gotta build that team. Yeah, because you a leader. And a leader ain't got no place being behind the walls. Yeah, ain't got no place being. Leader's too smart. You gotta switch up how you move. You gotta switch up who you hang around with every day. Yeah, the studio time and studio time. After that, then you got to switch it up. You need some new friends. Now, don't kick them to the curb because you still need them. They still serve a purpose. But you got to switch it up a little bit. You might want to just hang with the producer, the A&R, 
the engineer might just want to hang with them for a little bit. Then you might want to hang with the dude that know a lot about stocks, that know a lot about crypto and Bitcoin and all that stuff. Then you might want to hang with the dude that know all about transportation. They can put your own game on that. And freight broken. They can put your own game on that. Then you might want to hang the dude that can teach you how to book your own shows and book your own concerts. Yeah, different type of... Then you might want to hang with the dude that can put your own game with your own liquor and your own cologne. The DMV cologne, the DC cologne, the Slutty Boys cologne. Yeah, your own clothing line. You might want to hang with him. So you got a lot of new friends you need to hang with instead of the goons, instead of the demons, instead of the steppers. Come on, Fat Trail. But, you know, you're going to get it together because you got some good people in your corner. You can always call Rick Ross. You can always call the people you know that's best for your interests. Yeah, you can call them. You just got to hit them up and let them know that you're ready. You ready to be a student. You ready to push them back. You can stop hanging with D.C. guys for about six months to a year. Get your mind right. I mean, like every day. Ride with them every day. You ain't got to do all that duh just because you want to move right. I know that fits your image and that fits your character and all that duh, but you already didn't graduated from that. You didn't did it all. So if you keep doing it now, only thing you can do is keep going back to jail and keep laying dudes down. I know you still got beef out there. I know it's still dudes talking. Let the steppers handle that duh. You ain't got to be in the city like that duh. It's time to move out of D.C. It's time to stop going back. Only time you really need to go back to D.C. is when you're trying to give out a deal or you're opening up a restaurant or you got some land and you want to put a fun center or something good for the kids or you're giving back. Other than that, nah, until you get in good grace with the government in D.C., you know what I'm saying, the mayor, where they want to give you the key to the city. Yeah, you got potential to get the key to the city, Fat Trail. All you got to do is switch it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because you already graduated from all that deal. I know that you've been thinking about that a lot while you was in prison. Yeah, you had to be. You know, you can keep, you know, slinging iron. You can keep, you know, doing your thing, thugging and all that stuff. That's cool in your head. But now nah, you got to switch it up because now it's time to be a CEO. Now it's time to be a boss. Let a goon be a goon. But you can't play all these different type of positions. You can't and be on the scene all that stuff. Nah, you can't do that though. Because we ain't got time to keep getting pulled over. You know what I'm saying? You already know you got to have that thing on you. So you can't be four or five deep with demons. Nah, you got to get right security. You got to move like Rick Ross. All you got to do is copy Rick Ross. You got a good leader in your corner. He teach you the game. As far as business investments, how to move. You don't see Rick Ross getting locked up. You don't see Rick Ross just losing to the system like that. Nah. So you can just watch him and learn from him. He'll give you the game because he got love for you. He the one who gave you a chance when nobody else wouldn't. So, yeah, that's all you got to do. Because one thing about life, especially in America, we all got to listen to somebody. Now, we could choose who we want to listen to. It could be a good leader, like who you got in your corner, Rick Ross, for your situation. Or you can keep applying pressure to D.C. and you listen to what the guards say. You listen to what that judge say when he gives you time. You listen to what that lawyer say. So you got to figure out who you want to listen to. You want to listen to multimillionaires. You want to listen to dudes who are playing with that's high in the six figures. That's real smart. Or you want to listen to dudes that work at the prison. You want to listen to people that work at the court system. They got a badge and all that on. It's up to you. You know what I'm saying? But that's my take on this conversation right here, man. I hit the like button. Hit the comment section, man. Hit the notification bell. Go.